Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy CNC. Today we'll be doing some surfacing in Mastercam 2020. So let's get started. Okay, here's our solid part. We got some angles in it. And we do not want to flip this on the side and create another operation. We just want to machine the, the angles during this operation. So, so far we dynamic the outside and contoured the middle. So next, we'll go to 3D, go down to flow line, click on those two faces, hit end selection, go to flow line, click on cut direction, step direction, and click on start. And what we want to do is start at the bottom of the angle and make sure that it's cutting in a climb cutting direction. Okay, we'll select the half inch bull end mill. Go to easyspeedsandfeeds.com, we'll pretend it's in canal. 90 surface feet, half inch diameter, six teeth. One thou, feed per tooth. 10 thou, eight tenths inches per rev, 688 RPM, okay. And seven inches a minute. 7.5-ish, okay. We'll type that in, because that's really important. You have to have the right speeds and feeds. We'll round up to 7.5. So, go to finish full line parameters, click on distance. Let's type in 5,000, give this a really nice finish. We'll go one way. Make sure it's climb cutting zigzag. We'll, we'll do climb cutting and conventional cutting. Well, go to gap settings, type in 200 thou. Okay, there we go. Create some good, good lines right there. Some good tool paths, okay. Let's back plot it. Let's make sure it's climb cutting. That's why we chose one way, because zigzag will do conventional cutting and that material like ink canal that will destroy your end mill pretty quickly. So let's go to verify. So dynamics it out and contours out, that's what we started with. And we'll get to what we added after it runs these tool paths. Okay, so there we go. It's starting at the bottom, 5,000 step over, climb cutting. And that's because we went to the flow line, changed the direction, the start, and some other things. And it's doing about 5,000 passes, looking good. Now, say if you just wanted to rough in this angle, you could do 100,000 passes and then come back in with a ball in mill and, you know, do do like an even finer pass with a ball in mill, like 5 tenths or something. But you guys get the idea. That's basically how it's done. So uh, be on the lookout for more videos and subscribe to Easy Speeds and Feeds. All right, thanks.